Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and today's puzzle is by Nordy, who has featured a few times a few times lately, is always innovating and has come up with something today that I've certainly never seen before. Um, we will have a look at that in a moment. Don't forget that in the apps there's always a wide variety of puzzles that you can try. Uh, there's some really good ones by great constructors there. Talking of great constructors, Glum Hippo has created the monthly Patreon challenge and that is brilliant too, uh, the fossil hunt. Have a look at it. Uh, it is on Patreon now. What else have we got? We've got uh, the merchandise and you can always find your way to the Discord server. All the links are in the description field under the video where the first one is to this puzzle. And as I say, it's called Snowballs. Now, let's go through the rules because we have to be a bit careful here, I think. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So that's the row numbers one to nine going in every row, column and three by three box in the grid. Each blue circle in the grid is a snowball. Snowballs roll in straight lines, either horizontally or vertically, through a set of orthogonally collect connected cells. Okay, right. The total length in cells of a snowball's path is given by the number in the top left corner of its starting cell. So this snowball could indeed roll four cells that way. After the first two digits, each digit is the sum of the two preceding digits, which is like the Fibonacci sequence. So if we were to put a three here, one and three makes four. I'm just guessing that this snowball rolls north. I have no idea. And then each digit is the sum of the two preceding digits. So the next one is a, a seven. And that is like the, well, that's more like the Lucas numbers than the Fibonacci sequence, I think. Yes, I'm going to say so. Um, snowballs may cross paths and therefore may share one or more cells with other snowballs. And that's it. We don't get anything else. We just get these, how many? Six, nine, 13 snowballs. Bit of a heck of a fight there. Um, and that's what we get. So hoping that the snow is finally cleared in most of the continental uh, USA and the and the human dwelling parts of the of continental Europe as well we're going to have a look at this so what have we got uh, let's let's first of all do give it a go on the link under the video i'm going to start now let's get cracking so well this 5 is definitely going to crash into another snowball. That is allowed. It says snowballs may cross paths and therefore may share one or more cells with other snowballs. Well, this one's going to, whether it goes east or south. Um, it's difficult, isn't it, for a five-cell sequence? Even if it began... Okay, so it could go one, two, three, five, eight. But eight is not going to work. That's intriguing. Okay, hang on. Eight won't work from a four because the four would have to go eight, one, nine, and then it would be stuck. So, so we're going to have to establish a truth about snowball paths. And I think that truth is that the second number I was going to say is always, but I'm now going to say has more flexibility if it is lower than the first number. So if we went 2, 1, then we could go 3, 5, no, 2, 1, 3, 4, 7. Which is still a very high number, but actually that does work because this could go 7, 1, 8, 9. Okay, if we started 3, 1, is that too high? 3, 1, 4, 5, 9, but you can't start with 9. So it is. So I am pretty sure, yeah, that one way or another, this starts with a 2 and then goes 1 and then 3. I don't know which direction. And that pencil marking's all right for now because it limits 3 to those two positions within box 1. But it's a bit dodgy here. If I put four there and seven here, I don't really know which way that goes. And these pencil marks might confuse me. But 
then the seven, I, I was assuming it would turn perpendicularly. And that, I think my brain was correctly working out that it can't carry on this way the or, or down that way because it will need to use the one or the two again. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so seven would go down here. If, if this snowball rolls east, this one will roll south. And then it'll go one, eight, nine. And that does work. Seven plus one equals eight. One plus eight equals nine. This one similarly could go east in with exactly the same numbers. Ah, so nine is going to end up in one of those two positions in box five. So that's a useful pencil mark. These ones I have to be very careful with. They're in opposition to numbers that appear in neither their row, column, nor box, which might well confuse me. Now, this one is similar. I, well, OK, the big difference, obviously, is this snowball is a 3, not a 5. So it doesn't quite work the same way. Now, that may even give license to this. Ah, oh, well, it can't work the same way. That's lovely. Right. This 5, if that ran into this 4 and up to there, it would be using exactly these numbers. Those were the numbers it would have to use. <coughs> And there would, <coughs> sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my voice. There would be a clash at the end because you would have to put nine into box five. And nine's definitely already in box five in one of those positions. So this snowball definitely goes up here. Um, let's use the pen tool and draw a little snowball path going north. Might use different colours for different directions. So that goes up here. I'm almost certain, but not absolutely certain yet, that the three will go west. But let's... You see, I think the opportunities have opened up a bit. Because this three could begin with an eight, couldn't it? It could just go eight, one, nine. Yeah, it could. Ah, ah, interesting. So, it doesn't have to start with a two anymore. In fact, one, two... Three, five, eight works now. So I think it could start. Could it even start with a five? No. If the start, sorry, if it started with a four, is what I mean. If it started with a four, it would go four, one, five, six, and you'd be bust. But it can go three, one. Ah, oh, no, it can't start with a three. Three, one, four, five. Then you get a nine here. And even even for a three cell snowball, nine is too much to start with. So that's not a three, that's one or two. This one is lowish. No, well, potentially even lower. That is one or two as well. I think this is a one two pair. Or is it? No, hang on, didn't I work out three one? No, to three one four five nine leads to a nine. That is no good. So one three must be the same. So that is a one two pair. This is always a three. This is always ah no, this isn't always anything. This is four or five. And this is seven or eight. Now, this can't go north, because whether it was seven or eight, it would need a one or a two, and that's a pair in the column already. So this does go west. Let's stick in a Oh, I could use the actual positions of the colours on my keypad. Red for west. I should have not used um, orange for north then. I should have used purple for north. There we go. <coughs> now, the, the westward snowball that starts with a three is seven or eight, followed by one or two to give eight or nine, I'm sure. And 8 or 9 means that this one can't come in here with 8 and 9 in it. Therefore, therefore, definitely, I want to say definitely, that snowball doesn't come down that way. This snowball goes this way. I can fill in all these digits now, and that's all right. And let's do the, the colours. That's a blue eastward snowball, and this is a grey southward one. Okay. Now, has that taught me anything? I do think this is a sort of learning exercise based on the high values. And we've done both five cell snowballs now. I'll tell you what I might do, because it is me, is do a bit of pencil marking. Um, those are the other digits in that row. Now in this column, one, two, three. 
Uh, I don't know, can't really get very far pencil marking actually, so maybe not. So which snowball do I look at next? These fours seem appealing, but I don't know which way they go. This one obviously doesn't go north, it can't run into a nine second. This one can't go east because you would end up with that contributing to a total of that. So this goes, hmm, interesting. Okay, if this goes south, it doesn't use a one. It could go three, two, five, seven. No, it can't because it will get up to at least a seven. I don't think this can go south because you're not allowed a one. So the first two digits have to be at least three, two. And once they're at least three, two, well, you can get through a digit that's lower than seven here, but you can't here. So this goes east, I reckon. Uh, west is what I mean when I say east. West to the left with a red like that one. Now, it's going to begin with... Well, it can't begin with a 2-1 pair because of that cell. So at a minimum, this is a 3-1 pair leading to at least a 4 here. Now, that's not actually all that helpful. This cell has to be... It's this cell that has to be very low, actually. If this was a 2, this would be at least a 3. This would go 3, 2, 5, 7. And that is possible. Okay, I don't really know. I know it goes west. Can I work out? I mean, 3257 is possible even with this. This would become 819. Interesting. Um, and again, I'm a bit... Oh, this. neither of these can be a 1 because of that 1. Ah, right. So they are at least 3, 2. Now, if they were 4, 2, which is the next way in which they could add up to a higher total than 5, they would go 4, 2, 6, 8. And that's impossible here. If you have all the even digits there, this would be 7, 1, 9, but that doesn't add up. Right, so these can't add up to 6. So I think they may be constrained to add up to 5. If they added up to 7, even with a 2 there, 5, 2, 7, 9, that would use up 7 and 9, and this would break. Wow. Okay, so these two add up to 5. They're a 2, 3 pair. That makes this one a 1. Ooh, something I immediately notice about that is there's definitely an 8 being used here, because this is either 7, 1, 8 or 8, 1, 9. Sorry, I'm just going to take a very quick break and blow my nose. Sorry about that. Right. Um, eight is being used here. So, this, ah, yeah, that's really good. Two and three always makes five. And if it was five and three, that would be eight. But eight is being used there. So it's five and two making seven. Seven is not used here. That goes eight, one, nine. That's a four, six pair. We'll get back to you in a moment. But we're looking down here. We can finish off five. Five minus three is two. Three minus two is one in the corner. I don't think we're going to get a three in a corner in this puzzle. Um, now, coming back to you, Mr. Left Hand Snowball. Four or six. Can it really be six? Actually, it could be. The sequence would have to go six, one, seven, eight. And would have to go north. Ah, oh, in fact, do we have to have, look, we've had a two in the column. We can't go four, three, seven, ten. So the next digit after this snowball is a one. That can't go there because of the given digit. So it must go north. Uh, did I have a color for north? I can use my palette. It's purple, yes. So this either goes four, one, seven, no, four, one, five, six or six, one, seven, eight, to be decided. That's intriguing. Now, look here, I've now got two, four, five, and six to go. That can't be two or five. Oh, four, six pair, interesting. 
And this cell is to, I don't think we can roll up north here because you just can't make, you could, you could only make those two add to that by being two and four equals six, and then that's impossible. So this goes either west or east. And it doesn't have a one in its string. Ah, so it's very like this string. It either, st no, not necessarily. This time it could start <clears throat> four, two, and then go six, eight. It can't start three, two this time, but it could start two, three. Oh, and then it would go five, eight. Hmm. Okay, it can't go to, th it can't go this way, it can't go west. And I say that because if it went four, that would need to be a two and that would clash with this. If it started with a two, actually it could have started with a five, I've just realized, gone five, two, seven, nine, but still that would clash with the two. If it started with the two, This can't be one, two, or four, so that would be three. And then two, three would clash with five. Two, six is too many for a fourth digit. So this goes east and is blue as a line. And it can't have a one next, so it's at least two plus three there. But it could be th four plus two, five plus two. Can't be two four because that's not going to work either. So this is six or this is five six or seven. I reckon. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities. I'm not filling them in yet. I'll come back to this. Now in the remaining digits in this box, we've got five seven and eight. That's quite a big start. But only, I think these three cell snowballs are very short. They're just like little arrows, aren't they? Um, can't pick up a one going that way. Could it be eight? It would have to be eight one nine in some direction. And that can't go that way or that way, so it can't be eight. Can it be seven? Ah, oh, no. It can't be seven one eight that way or seven one eight that way. It can't be seven two nine that way because of this. It can't be 729 that way because of the 2. And it can't be 729 that way because that can't be 9. So this is a 5. But it could now be 527 south. But there's nothing that would work going north. That's interesting. 527 doesn't work. 538, 516, 549. Can it go west? I bet it can. No, it can't be 516, can't be 527. It could be 538 going west. That's really annoying. I don't know how to pencil mark this. This is either 538 going west or 527 going south. I've just noticed that can't be 5 or 8. What have I got up here? 4679. Ah. One of these three is a nine in this column, so those don't have a nine in. That's not quite a quintuple, but one can be placed in the box. That's quite interesting. One of these two is a one. One of these two is a one. Yeah, maybe Sudoku is my friend today. There is every chance that that's the case, because Sudoku is always my friend. I don't know, actually. I, this one is uncertain. Everything else is slightly out of the reach of the other snowballs, so I'm going to maybe have to focus on this after all, which I thought wasn't really giving me much. OK, if that's 4, 5, or 6, this has to be 2. I think I worked that out. Then this becomes 6, 7, or 8. Actually, that's ruling out 6, because 2 and 8 is 10. So that becomes 6 or 7 if that's 4 or 5, this is 2, that's 6 or 7, this is 8 or 9. If, however, this is 2, then I think maybe this has to be 3. 
oh, I've just worked out this can't be 2. That's really important. This can't be 2 because in this column, the 2 is in one of those two cells and they're in box 8. So that can't be 2. So now we can suddenly forget all those and the 4 or 5 possibilities and this is where 2 is. Gosh, that was a bit complicated. Nice. Now I can work out work on these possibilities. Now, 2, 4 is too much because that goes 2, 4, 6, 10. So this definitely goes 2, 3, 5, 8. And that one is done. Now, that can't be 5. That can't be 8. We still don't have any triples, quads, or quintuples there. There's a three in one of those cells. And maybe there's... If that was five, three, eight, the row would go one, eight, three, five, nine, seven, two, four, six. That works fine. That's very surprising. It's odd that these things aren't giving me Okay, what can this start with now? Not 1, 2, or 3. Not 5, 8, or 9. 4, 6, or 7. Well, if it went north, two possibilities. 6, 3, 9, 7, 2, 9. Can't go that way. It can't go this way. Because that can't be 1, 2, or 3. Oh, it, this also can't be 1, 2, or 3. Ah, so it can't go west, and it can't go south, and it can't go east, so it does go north. Right. Intriguing, unexpected. Um, and it can't start with a 4, because it would need 5 here, but it can start with either 6 or 7. Putting a 2 or 3 here. It's odd. I don't quite know what this is doing for me. If I can just disambiguate one more snowball, I think we might get a snowball effect in the rest of the grid, but we'll see. Um, bother, I'm going to have to look at these. Oh, three there obviously can't go west or south. It doesn't have enough room. Now, if it went north, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities there. We, we can't use a 1 going north. So I was attracted by that. And we can't end in 5 or 7. But there's a lot of other possibilities. <laughs> and if it goes... Ooh, if it goes east, it has to run through a 1. And it can't do it in the finishing cell. So the 1 would be there in that case. But again, lots of possibilities for that. No, that is not a helpful one. What about this that can't have a one in its snowball? So it adds up to at least five. If it went south, it would have to add up to a six or a seven. This would be two, four, two, five, or three, four. And if it went west, this could be 5, 6, or 9. I don't know. I don't know where we go next. There is a 2 in one of those two cells. Bit of Sudoku, maybe, to, to pass the time while I try and figure something out. I'm just seeing now there must be a 2 in whichever path this takes. I still don't think that's very helpful. Um, ah, a bit stuck. Now, this one. What did I work out? That was either... Ah, no. Did I say 538 going left? Which it can't be because of that. I think I did. It can't be 516. It can't be 527. It can't be 538, the one I thought it could be. And it can't be 549. So it does go south. Ah, oh, that's the one. There we go, grey. So that all that gives us is a 7 there and an 8 there. 
But I think that was potentially helpful somewhere. It was... Oh, was it only when we were considering this snowball? Does that, oh, this one! This one! I forgot it! Oh, so foolish. I forgot the given digit snowball. Right. Well, it can't go south. You can't end in a three. It can't go north because that sum doesn't work. If it went west, it would go 1, 6, 7, 13. So it must go east, which seems very constrained. But it is right, and I can see that it does work if we make that a 2 and that a 3. That's worked. Ah, this is it. Okay, now it's going to snowball, literally. I think we are going to cruise along at this point because we've got lots of digits there. We've got this one, that's a 7. So that's not 79215. Now, pencil marking this might be helpful. 3, 4, 6, or oh, what have we got here? 4, 6, and 9. Yes, we've got a 4, 6 pair in this column. So that's 8, and that's 3. And forget pencil marking, we're getting actual numbers in now. Um, now, surely this is going to help with this fella. If that came to there, it's got to be 246 or 257. Those are possible. If it goes west, oh bother, 235 is still possible. 2 is in one of those two cells. Oh, it doesn't resolve it. Okay, 3 in this box. Let's just do some ordinary stuff. That is 6 or 9. Four, seven, one, eight, three. Still these, are these sorted out? No, I don't see how. Down here, these are from, that is six or nine, which is a pair with that. So this is a one, eight pair. Seven is there. Don't know what this is. There seem to be four candidates. Um, along the bottom we have 4, 6, 7, and 9, and that one can't be a 7. Now, interesting. Just looking at this again, this is either 4, 1, 5, 6, in which case 3 would be there, or it's 6, 1, 7, 8, in which case 3 would still be there. That is a 3. It's a slightly weird digit to get. Oh, there were 4. That was the last 3 in the grid, in fact. Maybe not that weird then. Seven in the column could be there or there. Okay, that's not what to look at. Four and seven are definitely in this box in those positions somewhere. Oh, come on, I must be done now. I thought that last snowball would snowball things. Um, that one proved not to be very helpful. This one, though could run into an 8 that way, but which two cells would make up 8? Can't be 1, 7, 2, 3, or 2, 6, or 3, 5. So it doesn't run that way, it runs north. Wow, interesting. So it doesn't use 1, 3, or 7. So it could be 4, 2, 6, or 6, 2, 8, if we kept it all even. The only odd digit we could bring into the sum is a 5. Ah, oh, but it could be a 4-5 pair with a 9. Oh, come on. 1, 2, 3, 7, 5. This is 4, 6, 8 or 9. Does there have to be a 4? No, it could be a 6-2 pair. Oh, there can't be a 4 in these positions because 4 in the bottom row is in one of those two. Right, now that's got a bit more interesting. There cannot be a 4 in these two. So there must be a 2. And we're not getting to 4 as a total. The 2 must be here. This is now 4, 5, or 7. Can't be 7. Oh, it can't be 4 again. I keep saying that because 4 is down there. And I've written the wrong numbers. It was going to be 4, 6, or 7, but it can't be 4 or 7, so it's 6. There we go. 
And that is going to get everything done. Can't have a 6 there. We've got a 6 there. That's a 5. We've got a 1-8 pair here. I'm not going to... Look at that weird 1-8 deadly pattern, apparently. This has become a 7, so that's 8. This is 6. Um, that 6 looks into the central box, doesn't it? So we've got a 5-4 pair there. That's a 9. In fact, that 4-5 is done. This is a 6. That fixes box 9 entirely. Oh, what happened there? My fingers went mad. There we go. Now, that's a 6. They're not. That's now a 5. That's a 6. That's 9 in the corner. Um, yeah, this is this is happening now. Finally, the snowball effect takes hold. Got 4-9 pair to put in there. This is a 2-5 pair. That's a 9. We've still got plenty of, snow well, two snowballs to do. It feels like plenty. Um, that is four or five. That's four, five, one. I'm going to pencil mark this, and then we'll have a look. Four or six, four, six, nine. And up here, that can't be a seven. Five, one, three, six, nine, eight. We've got two, four, and seven to place. Right. Okay, that one's done. It's just this snowball to resolve and this one. Let's do this one actually. If it started with a 1, sorry, if it started with an 8, it would have to go 8, 1, 9 in some direction. That's not possible. So it starts with a 1. It doesn't go south or east into those 8s. It must go north. It can't go that way because it doesn't work. It must go north, which I thought for a second didn't work, but it does. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Nice. So we've got four or five pair. That might actually do quite a lot by Sudoku. And as I say that, it runs out. Okay, but now we have this one to do. If it started with a seven, it would run into a three or an impossible target. So that's two or four. And that might just get us the Sudoku done. No, deadly pattern remaining. Okay, so if it went south, it would be wrong total. So it definitely goes west, which is the red one. And it is therefore ending in an odd digit, which is a five. There we go. What a lovely puzzle. Great work, Naughty. And we are done. Very clever stuff. Most entertaining. I like that. Um, struggled a bit with some of my case testing early on, I think. And oh, I failed to notice the given digit snowball for ridiculous length of time but there to the finish in the end and always grateful to have you watching my travails on the channel thank you very much for being with us and i hope to see you again soon bye for now